Hey guys, I wanted to share a quick flip through of my latest book. I don't know if you really want to call it a junk journal or a book or a bullet journal or what. This one is one that I created for my sister. I started with an idea and a cereal box, um, specifically mermaids because she loves mermaids. And this is the cover is from started out with the Lucky Charms box of all things. And some mermaid paper. I kept a watch on the sales at Michael's and was able to get a package of paper for um, I think it was like less than five dollars. I spent a lot of time scouring the internet looking for images, um, magazines, things like that, and this is what I came up with. She specifically wanted something that she could take pages in and out of and save pages and something that had some areas for photographs and things with scrapbooking paper that was photo safe to keep for later use. So I think that she's really going to like this. I kind of planned it with her in mind. So I started with this. I did pick up some trims at Hobby Lobby. They were having a 50% off sale on a lot of theirs. I um, just don't have a large selection of these yet built up. So this was my cover. Oh, sorry about the phone, guys. This was just a cute free image that I found online. I outlined a lot of these with washi tape and things. Um, just a variety of things in here. All of the paper, she does bullet journaling, so you'll see a lot of blank paper in here. All of this colored paper like this is thin, take out and throw away when she finishes with it. Um, I call it copier paper, printer paper, whatever you want to call it. This is a pocket that I created from Dollar Tree greeting cards. Um, just a tag. I covered the back with some cute washi tape and put a mermaid on it. I found this cute lady. She kind of reminds me of a mermaid in a magazine. Believe in your dreams. Check out this um, seahorse. These are rhinestone type stickers that I found at the in a clearance bin somewhere. I can't remember. Maybe Michael's? This is my sister's family, her husband and his children. Of course, some magazine images I found that just spoke to me. Another mermaid, and this was just some fabulous um, faux fur yarn that I found on clearance. The color was called Peacock, but it just is such a gorgeous color. An old soap advertisement, I believe this was, for fairy soap, but it um, has the mermaid. I'm hoping you can see that. My lighting's not great today. Of course, some more blank paper. And everything in here is hand cut, so it's not, you know, it's not perfect. An image I found online. She dreams of the ocean late at night and longs for the wild salt air. More blank pages. I just love this lady. Isn't that gorgeous? A piece of this fabric I actually found. Let me see if I can get that where you can see it. At um, Hobby Lobby. Just a little strip up for like 45 cents in their remnant bin. And this is a tag. Has a heart on this side. And then... Our last family get-together, this is all the nieces and nephews that were there, and my sister is in the photo with them. So I think she'll like that. Oh. Got to be careful, make sure I get the heart down in there. Of course, more blank pages. And then this is just, a, there. it's hard to see, but there are actually two hearts lightly stamped here and the word love is in silver down here at the bottom. Check out this cool bracelet. It is, has an octopus on it. Found that in a catalog. And this was a free image I found online and um, 
some washi tape I had that says follow your bliss. More blank pages for her. Just some cute jewelry I found in a catalog. An image from a book that I found at Goodwill. Good, ugh, can't talk. At Goodwill. More paper. Some of that pale lace that was so pretty. This is an umbrella that actually I found. Oh, sorry, I don't have it where you can see it, do I? Umbrella um, that has goldfish in it. I just thought that was a cute little thing. I thought she would get a kick out of it. Mermaids. Family photo. She'll be able to tell by feel. This is some more jewelry that just reminded me of mermaids. Um, which paper is which? Some of that fuzzy yarn is a border for a texture here. It just just has such a cool feel to it. A piece of mermaid paper with a mermaid with a um, flower in her hair. A tag on the back says gypsy at the top and then it has a thing it says things that make me happy with a little mermaid pocket here another mermaid well, actually several mermaids sorry guys I've got to switch hands here this is our youngest niece, and of course these are mermaid baby dolls, and she's kind of the baby doll of the family, and you got to see her. She's so cute. Look at how she's dressed herself. She's by, I call her my own Pippi Longstocking. I don't know if any of you loved those books when you were young or not, but I did. This is our youngest niece and nephew out at the beach. Seemed appropriate. Advice from a mermaid. This is just a page from a book that I um, used the cover of and a pendant with a starfish and some shells and sand and then some seashells. These both came from various magazines. A pocket and then just a tag that I made that says best sister ever. This is me, my siblings, and all of our significant others. Just a little silver doodle at the top. Fabric tab. This is just a um, printout. I was a mermaid in a previous life. And then on the back of this last page, I made a multi-pocketed thing. There's a tab at the top with, or a tag with a mermaid. Oh, you don't have this where you can see it, sorry with a mermaid. Then there is one with a different mermaid and she has some little starfish um, what do you call those? I'm gonna call it a dangle, like charm, charm. There we go, charm. And then a couple of little cutouts. That one says float on and then this one just has a shell on it that she can add a word to. And then the back is simply more of the mermaid paper with the lace around it. And I've deliberately chose to use rings because she did want something that she could take pages in and out of or add to and that she could save pieces from. So I'm hoping that she really likes this. Thanks for checking this out, guys. And if you see anything that, you know, you think I should have done differently that you would change or that I should have added let me know and I'll see you soon bye